nervous too in the beginning. You can actually start small, build up the confidence, and it's actually really, really fun and exciting and not so scary at all. So, we're gonna help you with Roller Down and Windy. Let's go do it. The first thing you wanna do is be sure to wear your helmet and your gear. Got my knee pads, my elbow pads, and my wrist guards to make sure I stay super safe. Before you go to the skate park, you wanna be really comfortable rolling forwards, backwards, squatting low, and stopping. So you should be able to skate forwards. Skate backwards. Stop. And it's best if you're able to squat all the way down and even sit on your bottom and then get back up. But it's okay if you can only squat to this point. You'll be okay. But just know that you need to work on getting that cannonball. But if one of the things that makes you nervous about the skate park are all of the other people flying around, you can always come really early in the morning when it's empty or find a time that your park doesn't have a ton of people. That makes it way easier when you're first starting. It makes it a little bit, makes me a little less nervous. Now that I've built my confidence in the parks and I'm totally comfortable coming to like a crazy session, um, at first I was a little nervous about all the other people, but then come to find out 99.9% .9 of everybody at the skate park is really nice and awesome and supportive. And I've made so many friends here, right? You guys have made friends at the skate park. Hey guys, it's your first time at the skate park. You don't have to drop in right away. When you first get to the park, you don't have to start from the top. So there's no need to try to rush and drop in from the highest ledge at the very beginning. The best thing to do is actually start from the bottom and work your way up. I'm gonna start on something a little bit smaller. So this is why I love Houghton, because we have all of these different banks that are different sizes. So that one's a little bit too big, but these guys are good for getting real comfortable. So first you have to learn how to get down these banks. Sometimes to even get into the skate park, you have to be able to go down a bank. So you don't need to jump head first right away. The safest way is actually to turn around and go backwards. So get a deep lunge, use one toe stop, and roll forward. If you're feeling nervous at all, you can actually put your hands on either side of your foot and walk yourself down. The most common mistake when people are learning this is that they let their feet come side by side. That looks like this. It doesn't really work. So make sure that this base leg stays perpendicular to the ground and you gradually release the pressure to get down. So once you get down, you get really comfortable going forwards and then rolling backwards. When you go forwards, be sure to absorb, absorb and get low. This is when the pumping tutorial that Pigeon and I did before is going to be really, really helpful.
doing that, then you're actually ready to go down the bank. So the first time you go down, you don't want to stand up. For some reason, a lot of people tend to go like this. If you stand up, it's gonna make you lose your balance and potentially have one of those really big butt slams that just aren't much fun. So to avoid that in the beginning, you wanna mush down. So keep it mushy, reach forward, and drop low. And don't forget to stagger those feet. So whenever I go down, I think stagger, reach, mush. If you're not able to squat low enough to butt slide, you can actually go on one knee. This will help you get used to the feeling of the bank. Once you're comfortable going up and down the banks, which is a straight flat ledge, like that stuff over there, those are all banks. The, that, that's a bank. That's a bank. That's a bank. And then that's a bank. So then you're ready to come to the transition. This is called a transition because it curves from horizontal to vertical. So it transitions between two planes. If you don't have banks in your park, that's totally okay. You could do all of this stuff in a similar way in a bowl or on a regular transition. The first thing again that you're going to do is learn how to go down backwards. Look, if you go like this, all you have to oh. do is put your toe stop up. Don't, don't push me. Then you can just go down your toe stop. Once you're down backwards, you're gonna start from the bottom and get comfortable carving around and feeling out the ramp, working your way higher and higher. The only thing about getting in a really big bowl is that you have to get out again. So in order to get up, you're gonna run as fast as you can and then keep running on those toe stops and plop your shoulders over. And then all you gotta do is get one leg up. All the way to the top. I'm gonna go do it on that big one so that you can see how fast you have to actually run to get up. So what I try to do when I'm here is, especially if there's a big bowl, I get in only when it's my turn, I take my turn, and then I get out as quickly as possible once I'm done. And then as long as you're not standing in the middle of everything, you're totally good. Everybody's, you're totally good. So here I am. I'm going to take my first turn in the bowl. Now there's some kiddos, but today it's a little bit of a different day. Everybody's kind of chill right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and skate around with them a little bit. But I'm gonna ask first. Hey guys, is it okay if I kind of roll around a bit with you? I won't like, I'm not doing anything crazy. I just wanna roll around that part real fast. Thank you, you can keep skating. Don't worry about me. in the bowl all crazy. I'm starting small and building my way up. I can still take my turns and have a lot of fun at the skate park. 
Once you're doing these things, I would recommend just pumping. Just get in that mini ramp and pump back and forth and back and forth and really work on your butt slides so that you have the muscle memory of falling correctly. It's only once you're able to pump your way and jump out of the ramp that you're ready to learn how to drop in. But that's gonna be next time. All right, you guys have been shredding in the skate park. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing awesome. Can you tell me about your first time at the skate park? My first time at the skate park, I was I was being teached by um, Dirty Death. I had a lot of fun. Awesome. What about you, Ash? One time I was at the skate park and you were there with me and I couldn't get it, but the next time I tried, I had fun and I got it. Oh my gosh. That was awesome! My first experience skating at a skate park was pretty rough because um, she didn't know how to skate either so we were all falling on each other. Indy taught us how to get it right and teach us to have fun. Awesome! Well thank you guys so much for demonstrating today and for being awesome and I can't wait to see you again in class soon. I'm always awesome. <laughs> hey guys! Hey. So these are some of your kiddos over there, but what's just as awesome is that you guys are skating too. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you the same question I asked them. Um, what was it like your first time at the park? Uh, my first time was taking my daughter. Watching her be ballsy and do everything that, you know, everything that she wanted to try. And then I was like, yeah, she's looking like she's having so much fun. I want to go too. <laughs> so that's, that's been it. It's just uh, getting out there. Yeah. I get it in my head a lot and I don't like drop-ins, but if I find a route and just keep on going, it just makes me feel like I'm speed skating rather than uh, ramp skating. And I like hills, so that works for me and I just find what works instead of being focused on what I'm afraid of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool, well, thank you guys so much. Until next time, later, later skaters!